Andrew here, Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions, 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support, or you can find us on the web at statumusa.com. Okay, right now we are going to perform a preventative, an annual preventative maintenance replacement of, uh, annual pre preventative maintenance kit replacement. Okay, so uh, just to be clear, right now we're currently working on a 2540. Um, the 2340, the 1730, the 2540, and the 3870M all have the same parts in their PM kit. They have a door gasket, an air jet, and a safety valve. Depending on what you have, either 2340, 1730, or 3870, or 2540, you have to, the gaskets are gonna be bigger, and the 220 units will use a red one, um, but that's for a later conversation. So, but the, the replacement of the parts is gonna be the same. The installing of the door gasket is gonna be the same. Um, so let's just move on. Okay, so right now we are gonna start We'll refer to the the replay to take off. Refer to our other video on how to take the cover off um, of the manual unit. Once you get the cover off, then we can dig into this video of where we replace these parts. You're going to need Phillips screwdriver for later, uh, five eighths wrench, a ten millimeter wrench, and an adjustable wrench. Um, first, we're going to remove the old parts. So. Uh, two things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unplug the unit from the back and the wall. Uh, and you're going to want to drain all the water out of the unit. To drain all the water out of the unit, open the door, and this is the drain right there. Just unscrew it, all the water will come out. I recommend doing that weekly also. Anyways, okay, so now we're going to come over here. We're going to, we're going to replace the safety valve. Also, it's recommended you have some Teflon tape. I like to use the yellow stuff. It's it's for gas lines, but it's it's a lot more durable, lasts longer. Oh, when you're and also you want to go clockwise on this, and you don't want to have a lot of excess dangling. So I got that much, nice on there like that. So this is ready. Um, it's tough. You can put it on here. It's kind of tough. You don't have to. Okay, so um, we're gonna take our 10 millimeter wrench and we're gonna come in here. We're gonna unscrew this. Uh, air jet right here. It is a tedious process. You got to kind of flip the screw the wrench every time You cannot use a socket. I'm just doing that So you just unscrew 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 let's go some sometimes they're uh, They're very tight some some technicians will will crank them on there and you round them off and you're in a whole world of hurt so if you don't feel comfortable doing this please call somebody to do it or send it in to us we'd love to take care of it um, so i get it to a certain point where i can unscrew it with my fingers not there yet obviously um, you want to try not to drop it um, unless your reservoir is nice and clean this is a good opportunity to clean your reservoir you can use opticlave we sell that on the website basically you squirt about two ounces in there uh, the night before you want to do all this and let it sit and then it kind of just eats away at all the stuff uh, The buildup in there and then you drain it out like we talked about before and then when you'll go to rinse it um, Just open the drain and dump regular water in it and that'll rinse that. All right, so we took care of this That's the air jet throw that aside. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna replace the safety valve There's a couple different sizes of safety valve you you might need a three-quarters wrench or 11 16 this currently one is a 5 8 we're gonna unscrew that one again. Um, you know, I loosened it up for the video, but you're gonna want to put some counter pressure on this first. You're gonna want to hold this here, and then take this one, hold this in place, and then turn this one and spin it. Um, if you try and and just loosen it up from the safety valve itself, you might actually torque the fittings in the back here. So if you turn the safety valve, it's gonna be so tight sometimes that it'll actually. I'll show you with this one. It'll move that whole thing. See how it moves a little? We don't want that because basically that'll cause it to leak more and just more problems that you might run into. So you're going to want to hold that counter pressure on there and then you're going to want to get it on there and you're going to want to uh, unscrew it. Um, and then, then again, get that one hand tight. Um, I like to replace the air jet first because then I can get my whole hand in there. Um, this is also kind of tedious. It's kind of tough to get into place at first. You got to get your hand in there 
and you don't want to cross thread this because then you're again that's a problem uh get your hand in there and, and kind of it might take you one shot this took me one shot that never happens but it's really not that bad so it's, it's hand tight right now and then i'll take it my 10 millimeter wrench and i'll go in there and tighten that one Again, you can put Teflon tape on there. Usually what happens with that is it gets strandy and falls apart and it just, it's just easier not to put it on there, to be honest with you. And I'm tightening up, you'll see. You don't wanna, you, we're not trying to over crank anything here. Um, I'm almost there. Boom, boom, come on baby. Almost there. You have to get a flip the wrench. Don't drop the wrench. I recommend cleaning your reservoir first. That way if you drop the wrench, you don't have to stick your hands in the goop. Hopefully it's not that bad. Almost there. Okay, come on, come on. Almost there, okay. It's another good opportunity when we have the cover off and we're doing this. And while I'm looking at it, um, you, you might want to go down here and inspect. Just look around. This is where all your power source is. You just want to look for burnt or browning wires. And while we have the cover off, you may want to attend to these at that given point. Um, you want to look for leaks. This one's in great shape. It doesn't have any leaks, but usually you'll see leaks underneath the reservoir down on the, the, the area here. Again, with the cover off, you might want to take a peek back here at this fitting. This fitting is the one that's in the back bottom of the chamber. This is a big uh, leak spot for these units. So just while we have the cover off, just a couple other things to check. Get ahead of it. Also, here's my safety valve. So I'm going to take that one in. I'm going to put that one in. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to put that one in hand tight as well. Don't cross thread anything. You should be able to move these things hand tight at least three, four threads. Um, okay, and then I'm now I'm tightening down, tightening down. Again, this is not something that we're going to crank on. Once it gets to a point where you, th you think you're moving the other brass fitting in there, then you put your adjustable wrench on there and hold it. I'm pushing this way while I'm pulling this way. That way it's giving good counter pressure on there, okay? You don't want to over crank it. That's pretty good, about hand tight. All right, so we just replaced the air jet and, uh, uh, and the safety valve. Now we are gonna to go towards the door gasket. So you're gonna unscrew the door. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this is, uh, while we're working on these things, we're gonna make sure that this is not hot because um, then because this thing is super hot and it's really hard to, to put the door gasket in when that thing's in. So pull that out. Once a year, we should be doing this. Or um, if you know if you score that gasket and, and when you're tightening, cranking this door down, it, it often this side of the, the door will gouge it. Um, but so as I'm looking at it here, you know, as part of your maintenance, um, you're going to want to make sure this is clean nothing stuck to it or anything like that um, and then we're also going to look inside here this is the track where the gasket goes so okay so as you can see the gasket uh, you may or may not be able to see it but one it's kind of a tad bit tapered um, and so you put the the thicker side the more flat side this is rounded here this is flat that goes in to the well and you're going to start it can be tough on the thumb so hopefully you can get in here with the camera but that's why you don't want it hot you start here and you start here gotta have strong thumbs and you're gonna go here basically you're gonna you're gonna go to all parts of the clock here we go 12 o'clock three o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock I would go 12 o'clock six o'clock and then it doesn't really matter where you go here as you can see I'm a little fatter in some areas Go like this. See, I got a big gap there. So I'm probably going to redo that. So you don't want the gaps too big because then you just can't squeeze them out. So then you got to readjust. You want kind of smaller gaps like this one. See that one? Smaller gap here. Thumb it in here. Again, I'm replacing the gasket currently in a 2540M. Um, they're black, or the black ones are for the 2540M are the OEM. 
Um, the green ones are the aftermarket and all of the gaskets, no matter what size unit is green, if you're getting the aftermarket. But they all install the same, the, the 1730, the 2540, the 2340, the 3870, it's just a matter of, this one's gonna be tough, okay. See, I got a big gap there. Let me try and shrink it down a little. Not as bad as it looks. Okay. I would, you can use a screwdriver or spatula, but you run the risk of scoring the gasket. Nearly there, nearly there. I'm upside down. Woo! 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 Did it. Okay, so. That's how you replace the gasket. As you can see, we're in all the way. You want to visually inspect it, make sure you got nothing sticking out. You are going to run into these little lumps. You can kind of smooth them out like this. I'm pushing in and kind of wiping around. But we just did the annual preventative maintenance kit replacement for a 2540. Again, they are all the same, the, the same way to do it, except the gaskets are different sizes. So. Um, and also depending on if you get uh, 220 units, which are like a 220 would be a 2540 MK, the 220 units have the red air jet. So, okay. If you like this video, please share it. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more Tootin' Hour troubleshooting videos. Thank you.